Mr. Halley, is it true that on the night in question that you told the police that you saw the defendant, Sergei Ivanov, loading some very suspicious looking containers into the storage unit that you rented him? No, I don't remember saying that. But you very clearly told the police that you were so suspicious that you went Objection. there that asked and answered. Sustained. Mr. Halley, you very clearly have changed your testimony. Did the defendant threaten you in any way? Because if he did, we can protect you. Okay. Yeah. What happened? What I am so sorry, Your Honor. I apologize to the court, Miss Sagan. Mr. Halley, you were saying? No. No one threatened me. I didn't see anything. Am I done here? I'm done. We'll continue this Monday morning at 8 a.m. You look horrible, Annie. If I was you, I'd get some rest on the weekend. Go to hell, Larson. No, you have a private channel so your grandpa can watch, and that's that. Jamie's is public? That's just not fair, Mom. She's already monetizing. We could make money. I get a ton of subscribers, and I could get merch and sell it and even become famous. Crystal, how many times do we have to have this conversation? You do not need to worry about making money. You just need to focus on getting good grades and being a regular kid. That is being a regular kid nowadays. Do you know how many of my friends have YouTube channels? No, well, not you. And that's final. I still think you're being old-fashioned. Well, great. Look, your chance cut's right there. Hurry up. Love you. Love you, too. About that, I had to drop Crystal off at tennis. Well, that's fine. How's Crystal? I haven't seen her in a while. <sighs> She's great, other than the fact she wants to be a YouTube star. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't lose too much sleep over it. She'll be on to something else next week. I sure hope so. I, I'm sure that as the most promising assistant DA in the state, there's nothing you can't handle. <laughs> that's not true. A 10 year old preteen is definitely more tough than the criminals I prosecute. But I'm sure as the most promising DA investigator, you already know that. Now, speaking of, uh, how'd the Ivanov case go? Ugh, don't get me started. I had the prime witness on the stand, and then, of course, Larson pulls one of his antics to disrupt my cross-examination, so mm. the judge adjourned for the day, and I have to start all over tomorrow. <sighs> He's such a sly bastard. Yeah. Listen, Mark. There's something I want to discuss. What's up? Who was the girl you were with last night at the Grove? What, so I... I can't go out with a friend anymore just because I'm dating you. You kissing her? I don't know what she thinks she saw, but there was no Mark, way. I why wasn't. are you lying to me? She knows <sighs> my best friend. She wouldn't just make that up. Garden salad for the lady. And the salmon eggs Benedict for you, sir. I only say, Annie. The truth. It's not that hard. Okay. The only time I ever see you is at work. Annie, and then I get a, a lunch or maybe a dinner, what, once a week? Hey, I miss you. I want to be around you. I want to speak to you face to face instead of the five minute phone calls and text messages we have. You knew the situation, Mark. Crystal is my first priority. We have school and tennis on top of trying to juggle a career at the DA's office, all of which existed before you were in the picture. Except I'm not actually in the picture. Annie, okay? You say I am, but I'm not. So where do we go from here? I think you know the answer to that. We still have to work together. Well, that's what we'll do. Hello. Oh, 
Danielle think I'd be answered. Do you happen to be free tonight? Hmm, let me check my calendar. No job, divorced, no hot date. Yeah, I think I'm good. Well, I also joined the no hot date club, if that's any consolation. No. Thanks for letting me know you saw him on tonight. I hated having to tell you. So what's up? You need me hang out with my bestie, Crystal, tonight? Yeah, I totally forgot to have a work function tonight. It's some fundraiser at the DA's office. Hey, no need to explain. You know I love spending time with that wise old gal. Thanks, you're a godsend. So, um, swing by for 7 p.m.? Yeah. TTYO. What? TTYO. Talk to you later. It's all about the acronyms, Annie. Come on, get with the ages. Okay, okay. Blue is a favorite color of mine. And umbrella is useful when it rains. He ate a enormous Pop-Tart. Sure about that one? Yeah. He ate a enormous Pop-Tart. Enormous starts with a vowel. It's the grammatical rule that counts, not how it sounds to the ear. He ate an enormous Pop-Tart. Good job. I'm here. Protector. Oh, he's fine. Oh, my best pair of shoes, on the other hand. <laughs> it's motion action. Did you just say that those are your best pair of shoes? Hey, I'm not pushing 40. You know what, I gotta run. Okay, so dinner is in the oven. It'll be ready in like 15 minutes or so, and then just call me if you need anything, okay? And in bed by 8.30 this time. Love you. Love you too. Cell phone at the fundraiser? What is that, the new standard at the DA's office these days? Yeah, well, it's been a long day, so I called my ride home. Were you leaving so soon? Not soon enough, I guess. <laughs> well, wait a minute. Why is it I get the feeling that you don't like me? Maybe it's because I don't like you, Larson. Perfect. This place is a little too lame for my taste as well. I'm out of here. So, how about I give you a... I'll pass the joy of rideshare apps. Come on, Annie. What am I going to do, buy you one drink? Come on. Wait a minute, you don't want to be seen with me, is that it? Well, I have a reputation to protect. Your reputation will not be tarnished. You're opposing counsel, yes it will. It's a little thing called the appearance of impropriety, or did you just skip that section in law school? I have a tidbit of information about the Ivanov case that would make you very, very happy. And why would you give me that? Oh, come on, Annie, really? We both know this case is shut and closed in my favor, right? So me giving you a tidbit of information, a little bit of a discovery to get a drink with you. Hey, I got nothing to lose. But you, on the other hand, you have a lot to gain. Trust me. Fine. One drink. So, after your husband passed, where'd you go from there? Yeah, that's about it. I uh, went to law school, did my best to raise Crystal, and the rest, as they say, is history. You know, I'd like to meet her sometime. Mm -hmm. hmm. So what about you? You went to Yale, right? That's right. I don't get it. You're a smart guy. Why didn't you? Uh, why are you a... Uh, why am I a drug lawyer? Yeah. You know, Annie, I, uh, I'm very well aware I've got a pretty bad reputation, but to be honest with you, it doesn't bother me. Everyone's entitled to a defense, right? Yeah, but... In some strange way, I think I'm a little bit like them, okay? You know, I like to live my life on the edge. 
To be honest, I think it's going to be a little difficult for someone like you to understand. It seems like you've lived quite the disciplined life. Why do you think that? Well, it's just the vibe you project, Annie, you know? You always seem so, I don't know, buttoned up, maybe. I mean, to be honest with you, Annie, I didn't even recognize you when you walked in this evening. You know, generally, you're always so... I don't know, prissy, maybe. And tonight? Well, tonight you look luscious. I'm gonna go. that tidbit of information about the Ivanov case? Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm gonna have to show you. No, it's not... I'm not I don't have it with me, Annie. It's at my place. <laughs> nice try, Larson. Come on, I'm not trying anything, really. Hey, look, it's up to you, okay? If you want a chance at cracking this case, entirely up to you. Finish your drink, we'll head right over and I'll show it to you. didn't have enough to eat today, I don't know. Rex, uh, Annie, Annie, Rex. Rex, that's original. Hey, come on, buddy. Can I get you a drink while you wait, Annie? No, I'm good. Okay, I'll be right back. Come on, Jim. Yeah, it is one of my vices, actually. So, uh, that thing about the case? Yeah, it's upstairs. Come on. I'll give you a tool while we're at it. Come on. <sighs> my room? Do you know, I've always thought you were the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. No, that is not the deal. Okay, okay. I had to try. Nice to try. I'm ordering a ride home. No, 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 it's okay. I'll give you a ride home. <sighs>
shot to death in his home at 3 a.m. this morning. Detectives say that the suspect is still at large, but they will work diligently to bring the person responsible to justice. Officials are still unsure if this was a robbery gone wrong or a targeted shooting. We'll continue to update you on the situation before we need to emerge. This is Jenna Allen. Hey, oh, thank you so much for dropping off at school again. I am so sorry about last night. Hey, you have nothing to be sorry about. You figured out what you're gonna do yet? Yeah. I'm gonna do what I should have done last night and go to the cops. Get fired, probably, even disbarred. Come on, it can't be that bad. Well, it is. It's called the appearance of impropriety, and yeah, it's bad. I didn't even sleep with the guy, but who's gonna believe that? I, I fled the scene, wiped my prints, which is obstruction. Wait, so... Oh, what happened to Crystal? Hey, no, no, you did nothing wrong. Just don't say anything. I can't do that. That'll just make things worse. Hi, Annie. Hi, Sarah. Um, is George available? Yeah, you said to just go on in. Thanks. George? Hi, um... I wanted to talk to you about the Doug Larson murder. Yeah, right. You were up against him on the Ivanov case, right? Uh, yeah, see, the thing is... Yeah, yeah, I know. You have a perfect record. And you want to prosecute this case. But so does everyone else in the office. No, the thing is, I, I really messed up, and I... Damn. Right now? Yeah. Yeah, fine. Press conference. Stairs, five minutes. For what? For the Larson murder. I guess it's big news whenever a client offers his own lawyer. A client? Yeah. Jimmy Pereira, didn't you hear? Yeah, he murdered Larson because he didn't get his son off. Maybe this time we'll get the guy. And so, after fine police work by our detectives, at 8 a.m. this morning, we arrested James Perry of Doug Larson's. Sir, we heard rumors that someone was spotted leaving Larson's in the middle of the night. Was that Perriera? Uh, we don't know that yet, but uh, we have a special DA investigator on the case, Mark Evans. Are you prosecuting this one yourself? No. As you know, I'm in the middle of prosecuting another major case. 
This case will be handled by a very capable young DA who uh, happens to have a perfect record, Miss Annie Sagan. Miss Sagan, is it true that Larson was laundering money for Perriera? How do you respond to Perriera's lawyer's claim that he was set up? Um, how long do you think this trial will last? Do you anticipate an open and shut case? No comment. Miss Sagan, mm. Bill Wonder No comment. Please. We'd like to thank you for coming out today. Um, Thanks for saving me back there. Yeah, seemed like you kind of sprung it on you, huh? Still, pretty good for someone so young. George, my son, your old man's talent rubbed off on you. Mark, I can't prosecute this case. What? Isn't this what you always wanted? This is your first homicide case. You've been begging for this, and now here it is. Look, it's complicated, okay? I'll tell you about it later. Guess who? Hey, sweetie, can you go to your room, please? I need to have a grown-up conversation with Danielle. Um, please. Thank you. What's up, Annie? Um, look at this. I'm gonna kill you, bitch. Do you know who this is from? Yeah, his name is Quentin Cruz. I put him away two years ago, and he's been harassing me ever since. Okay, why haven't you told me this before? Because it wasn't really a big deal before, and honestly, I thought he would just get over it, but now it's escalated to death threats. Have you reported this to anyone? Yeah, I told Judge Miller this morning, and he told me to tell some lady with the judicial protection, um, Officer Mendez, I think. Well, did you? No, not yet. I just, I, I didn't want to make a big fuss about it. I, I just wanted someone outside the courts to be aware. That's why I'm telling you. I'm here for you every step of the way. I know. Mitch Warner, appearing on behalf of the defense. <clears throat> Annie Sagan, appearing for the people. Do you have a copy of the police report? Despite the numerous attempts from my office, based on that and other factors, we strongly recommend that bail be granted. Ms. Sagan? Ms. Sagan, did you hear me? I said I wanted to hear the people's position on the matter of bail. Ms. Sagan, bail. Right, um, sorry. <clears throat> uh, due to the serious nature of the crime, we request that he be held without bail, sir. Your Honor, my client has strong ties to the community. He's no way a flight risk. He has a wife, children, home, and businesses in this community. Based on that, I strongly feel that Mr. Perriera should have bail granted. Fine. Bail is set at half a million dollars. <clears throat> Don't feel too bad about it. Huh? They got bail. Oh, yeah, right. So you uh, you heard the latest, right? Perriera has an alibi for the night of the murder. Because it wasn't him. <laughs> yeah, it was him, all right. His alibi is his mistress. She wasn't even with Perriera that night that she was home alone. I can't prosecute an innocent man. Innocent? Are you kidding me? Perriera is a drug dealing, murdering scum. Hey, hold up. That witness who can break Perrier's alibi, he wants to cut a deal, like, now. So, want to discuss it over a drink? Mark, you know it's over. OK, how about a coffee shop? There's nothing romantic about that, right? Yeah, well, it can be. Walk me in my car. So what did they pick this guy up for? Uh, robbing a liquor store while high on heroin. Great, sounds like a reliable source. <laughs> I mean, this guy's obviously a junkie who's lying. And it seems to me you're trying to do the defense's job for them. You know what? Yeah, I am, because the defense is going to rip this guy apart on the stand. OK, fine. Whatever, you're the boss. I will look into other suspects. Great. Been meaning to track down that mystery blonde anyway. The what? Blonde woman who was with Larson the night of the murder. You read the file, right? 
You know they found two long blonde hairs on the pillow next to Larson's body? I don't know. I mean, no, that's that's not Perrier's style. Larson was a total horn dog. He probably slept with a new woman every night. Those hairs could have been there for weeks. Yeah, still, it's a lead that we have to follow no. up. No. Listen, Larson is no angel. I'm sure he has enemies against him, right? Yeah, you got that right. Larson was a jerk. Right. So why don't you work on finding out who else wanted him dead? What is this? Is this some kind of women's intuition feeling thing? Does George know about this feeling yours? No, and he doesn't need to. This is my case. I gotta get back to work. Hey, you up for a drink tonight? In a non-romantic setting? Definitely not. I'll be working well into the night. I'll talk to you later. Crystal didn't even wake up when I was in her room tonight. Who is this? Quentin Cruz? Answer. I've been worried out of my mind. Why? You know she's with me. My phone's probably dead. You okay? your mind. I know this is I'm gonna have you arrested. Oh, I don't think you'll do that, Annie. Not when I have more pictures I could show them from that night. Cruz, what do you want? <laughs> it obvious. I'm gonna ruin your life the way you ruined mine. What's that? He knows where we live. Pack your bags, we're going to a hotel. Judge, I am, I'm so sorry to bother you. When I said any time I'm in it, what's wrong? Everything, 
between the stalker, the, the Larson case. Oh, right. Congrats on that. It'll be a real feather in your cap putting that guy away. Thing is, um... He didn't do it. Pereira. He didn't do it. His hands are totally different than the killer's hands. How do you know that? Wait, do you have a, a, a witness? Me. I was there that night. I know. I'm so sorry. It was a total mistake. It was it was the night of the benefit and, and I just got drunk and I went over to Larson's house and then I was there when the killer came in and I was hiding and, and you didn't come forward? I tried, okay, but now I can't and and now I can't prosecute an innocent man and then the guy that they'll replace me with is just gonna be hellbent on, no, no, stop. on putting him away. Stop. I don't want to hear any of this. I'm about to be nominated to the Federal Court of Appeals. You're right. Sorry. Actually, I didn't hear any of it. You have got to figure this out yourself before they do. Hey, Danielle, is everything okay there? <sighs> Thank you again, I won't be too much longer. Find anything, Counselor? Oh, God. It's hard work searching for a clue to who knows what. Yeah, wasn't well, that your job? Hey, I'm satisfied that Perrier did it, okay? If you want to go on some wild goose chase based on some women's intuition thing, that's your business. But, you know, please forgive me if I don't share your beliefs. You know what strikes me is that this place has been trashed. Not just randomly trashed, like the drawers and the filing cabinet, which indicates to me that someone was, was looking for something. I mean, if Perry Eric killed Larson because he couldn't keep his son out of jail, revenge, pure and simple. But then, what was he looking for? Maybe it was another motive, or, or maybe it was someone else. Let's see. Are you gonna help? Look, it's Larson's bank statements. That he makes a deposit for $9,000 every month. Going back for years. They could be perfectly innocent. Yeah, but... They put in a book. Uh, right, um... He made the same notations on every time that he... SM, SL? Someone's initials, maybe? Yeah, maybe, but TSC and the others, what are they paying Larson for? Blackmail comes to mind. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. But who is Larson blackmailing? Yeah. 
This is he? Yes, that's right. Thanks for getting back to me. Uh-huh. Great. That's exactly what I wanted to know. Thanks for your help. Remember those long blonde hairs they found on Larson's pillow? Yeah. That was Larson's maid on the phone. Turns out she changed Larson's sheets earlier on the day of the murder. So the blonde hairs were left on his bed that night. Larson was with the mystery blonde the night of the murder. So maybe Larson left the party with somebody that night after all. Oh. Wow, that's pretty intense. Um, yeah, it's just a, a stalker. He's been threatening me. He got out of jail a couple weeks ago. What? <laughs> Why wouldn't you tell me? Because it wasn't that serious. It... He broke into Danielle's house the other day and left a threatening note next to Crystal's bed. Are you kidding me? Get out of your house. Kid, okay? We're at a hotel. <sighs> Fine. Good job today. Thanks. <laughs> How long did we get to stay at the hotel? Not too much longer, just until they fix the house. We'll tell them to take their time, because I love it. <laughs> well, I prefer our house. I know, I do too, but it's so much fun at the hotel. Hey, sweetie, give me a sec. Mm -hmm. Hey, George. I got a call from a lawyer today named Simmons. Uh -huh. And he said that his client was willing to testify that Pereira wasn't anywhere near his girlfriend at the time of the murder, and you wouldn't deal. Well, George, his client is totally unreliable. He's a junkie who didn't even... Any, any, listen to me very carefully. I want Perry Harry. Yeah, but George, I... Rumor has it that you are not pursuing this with the figure that you should. That you're off on some wild goose chase of your own. Listen to me, Annie. If you cannot handle this, I want you to let me know right now. Because I do not want you to blow this. Look, I took Simmons' deal. You got a problem with that? No, I... Good. You okay, Mom? Just some work stuff. You ready to go? Mm -hmm. Oh, can you out here? Yeah, I think so. Hey, counselor, let's go for a ride. How did you know we were here? That's what I do for a living. Come on. I got something important to show you. Maybe not. Oh, come on. What is it now? Here, I thought we had reached an understanding, and now you're being all weird again. Can you give us a sex meeting? Mm -hmm. Are you out of your mind? I'm being weird. I just got chewed out by George because someone told him I was on a wild goose chase. Now where would he get that idea, huh? Beats me. OK, so maybe I complained about you to someone and it got back to him. I didn't mean to get you in trouble. Well? I, I really am sorry, OK? And in fact, I'm thinking you might be onto something, this whole someone else being involved in Larson's murder thing. If you would get in the car, you can go find out. Fine. Let me put Crystal and Danny to trip. OK. So what's the big surprise? Did you figure out who Larson was blackmailing? <laughs> This isn't the way to Larson's house. No, it isn't. I thought first we'd make a little stop at Scratch. Scratch? Yeah, it's a jazz club nearby. I found a drinks receipt on Larson's credit card bill from the night of the murder. I'm thinking maybe he met the mystery blonde woman there that night. Maybe someone got a good look at her. Anyway, the waiter who was on that night is working, so uh, let's go find out. to the restroom. You, Tony? Yeah. Great. <sighs> I 
I don't know if you met her here that night or if you came in with her, okay? Annie, over here. Sorry, you were saying. Yeah, like I was saying, I don't know if you met the girl here that night or if you came in with her, okay? It was a really busy Friday night. But you do remember a woman being here that night with Larson? Yeah. Do you think you'd recognize her if you saw her again? Maybe. Okay, I don't know. There's so many people here that night. What about surveillance cameras? You guys have any kind of security cameras in here? Yeah, we do, but they uh, erase themselves and they get retaped over every couple days. Okay, uh, if you think of anything else, give me a call. Yeah. Thanks for your help. Mm-hmm. It was worth a shot. You okay? Uh, yeah, I think I left my phone in the bathroom. long until we can go back home. Mm. Hopefully not too much longer. You know, I can't stand it. You know, I, I think I'm just gonna call Officer Mendez with the judicial protection at this point. Hopefully they'll find him soon. I mean, that's fine, I'm sure, but you should get a gun for your own safety. Yeah, ever since Evan left, I made a point to get one. I keep it in my nightstand and it's just, it makes me feel more comfortable being in that house all alone. I'm sure that they'll find him soon enough, so I'm cheer up. Think of us like a, a fun girl's getaway. <laughs> At least we don't have to cook and clean, right? Mm. I haven't had to do that since my divorce, so it's nothing new. Well, Crystal told me that she prefers the hotel life, so. Get that for Ann. Good job. Good hustle. Here we go. Good job. Excellent. Well done. So what's going on with the Larson case? I have a couple ideas. They'll probably all lead to dead ends, but... You know, what scares me the most is that they found my hair all the time, and I know fully well it's me. Bring it in. Awesome job. Kind of mix up. Since I'm already here, why don't I just drop you off at home? My car's right there. And that way it won't be a trip for nothing. Hey, Crystal. Is this your grandpa? Oh, no. He's on his way. Annie's a friend of mine. She asked me to pick Crystal up. There's been some kind of mix up. I'm gonna head out. I'll see you next time, Crystal. did find a lead, though. Um, he found Larson's safety deposit box, so maybe that'll lead to something that we can use. Well, is there any way I can help? We don't do anything for you, for Crystal, for that matter. I know. <sighs> you know, it just scares me. I mean, you know what's at stake. <laughs> I could go to jail or... Or worse, I could lose Crystal. Mark, please tell me you found something in Larson's safety deposit box that'll crack this case wide open. I think I did. Still looking through it all. Oh, great. Okay, I'm on the way. Take a look. <sighs> the f 
Larson had him in a safe deposit box, and needless to say, his sister couldn't make heads or tails of him. So I kindly volunteered to try and decipher them for her. And? And do you want a beer? Yeah, sure. So I presume that Larson handled all of his cases? Yeah, some of them. His old partner handled some of them, too. And in each of the cases, the defendant won due to some evidence that wasn't allowed in. Wait, so you're saying that the judge was on the take or the prosecutor was? I don't know. It could be either. Though, that kind of thing's particularly hard to prove because judges or whoever can always claim they made their decision based on the merits of the case. I'm still looking through the files, but, um, <laughs> hold on a second. I'm gonna grab a bottle opener. Finding the truth. Truth. You're leaving? Uh, yeah, you know, I, I forgot to feed my neighbor's dog. I'll see you later. here for that video? Hey, um, I was expecting the guy, uh, Mr. Evans. Right, um, I work with him and he wasn't able to make it, so he told me to come grab it? Mm hmm okay, so it's not actually our video, but we have this guy, Leon, who's a regular here, and he was actually having a party that night. So he was taking a bunch of videos on his phone, and I think that one of them caught the woman you guys were looking for. Here, I put it on a thumb drive for you. Thanks. Yeah, you know, it is funny though, you do look a lot like the woman on the film. You see your hair and your eyes. People say I have a common face. Thanks. Where's Crystal? She's fast asleep in my bed. What happened here? I don't know. Quentin Cruz, I imagine. I'm watching you. Time for your mentor to die, too. Wow. Time for your mentor to die, too. He's talking about Judge Miller. Oh my God. That means that, I mean, I knew he was following me, but I never thought he would, he would kill somebody in order to get back at me. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's all my fault. It's all my fault that Larson's dead. I have to warn Judge. Judge, it, it's me, okay? Uh, you need to be careful. Look, Cruz killed Larson, and now I think he's after you. Can you just please call me back? Please. Annie, where are you going? Listen, I have to warn the judge. I need you to take Crystal to my dad's that it's not safe here. I'll let him know that you're on the way.
Hi, Officer Mendez. Yes, this is Annie Sagan, Assistant DA. Um, Judge Miller referred me to you. I, I believe he spoke to you about this, and I apologize for not following up with you. I just honestly was hoping that this all would pass, but it seems that Quentin Cruz is a, is a bigger danger than we originally thought. He broke into my hotel room tonight and made some pretty serious threats and needs to be arrested. Um, can you please just give me a call back when you have a moment? No, what messages? Oh, God. Oh, Cruz, you know the guy that's been stalking me, right? Yeah, yes. Yeah, well, he trashed my place and, and he threatened to kill you, which which means that he, he killed Larson and now he's coming after you. I'm, I'm fine. Every, everything's all right. Oh, God. That was Quentin Cruz the whole time. He followed me there and when he thought I left, he went in and shot him. Hmm. Probably to put the blame on me. It's okay. You'll have him arrested, then uh, turn yourself in. Officer Mendez? Yeah, did you, did you find him? Are you sure? Yeah, okay. Um, thank you for letting me know. What is it? Annie. It wasn't Quentin Cruz. She said that he's been dead for three days, that his body washed up on a beach yesterday, and they just I him. It doesn't make sense. I talked to him on the phone, then I bet he left the photos in the room. I mean, it was, it was definitely him. Annie, exactly how long has it been since you had anything to eat? I eh, thought so. I'm gonna go get us something. Also, we need to call your father. Hey, Mark. How about that? I've only been trying to reach you for the last few hours. I'm sorry, okay? I've just, I've had a lot going on. Great, so I guess you don't care that- What? You did? Who? Okay, so I went through all the case files and in two thirds of them, the same judge was on the bench. My guess is he's the dirty one. Okay, who? It's hard to believe, but in each case, it was distinguished judge Ryan Miller. Still there? Yeah. And you think that Miller killed Larson? Yeah, well, I guess he got tired of having Larson dogging him. Miller wants to go all the way to the top. I doubt he wanted Larson following him and asking for more and more money. But this leaves us with a problem. No judge is going to issue a warrant for Miller's bank accounts now without more proof. What if we can link him to the codes in the appointment book? Yeah, I'm working on it, but I still haven't been able to figure it out. I think I'm going to have to look for that mystery blonde again. Maybe she has something to do with it. Uh, no. I mean, please, just, just stay on the files. I, I may have a way to get in Judge Miller's bank accounts. Yeah? What are you going to do, go over to his house for dinner and start hunting to his personal papers? Something like that. Just work on deciphering those codes, and, and I'll talk to you soon. Here you go. Great. Thought you said you were hungry. Yeah, I, I sorry, I was... Not me as hungry as I thought. Actually, can I use your restroom? Oh, that's okay. Of course. You know where it is.
What are you doing? I know what you did. Annie, what are you talking about? The blackmail? The payoffs? Blackmail? What are you, what are you Stop lying! I know that you fixed those cases and that Larson was blackmailing you, so you killed him. Killed him? No, Annie. I would never do anything like that. Annie, please. Yes, he was blackmailing me. It was just a couple of cases that I fixed for the mayor's son several years ago. But I was paying Larson off. I wasn't happy about it, but I could afford it. Why would I kill him? I don't know. Maybe because you're up for an important new job and, and Larson was threatening to expose you. I don't know and I don't care, but I'm going to the cops. Annie, you can't. You can't go without revealing that you were in Larson's house that night. If I go to that house, what are you, are you crazy? You're not getting out of here with those. I said stay away from me. Jesus, you are crazy. I trusted you. I thought you were my father's friend. I drove over here to save you, and you trashed my place to make it look like Quentin Cruz did it? No, I had nothing to do with that. Stop! Lying! I know it was you! And you knew I was at Larson's the entire time and you acted surprised. I'd like to think it was because you wanted to protect me. But no, now knowing that you just wanted something on me, but you know what, it doesn't matter anymore because I'm going to the cops and I'm going to turn myself in right after I turn you in. Annie, I don't have anything because I wasn't there! Annie? Jeez, where have you been? I've been worried about you. I've been calling you for the last two hours. Are you okay? Miller. He did everything to blackmail the murder, but... Shh, it's gonna be okay. It's fine. Look, I've done some pretty messed up things and things you don't even know about. It's okay. Whatever you did, it's okay. what I did, and I'm sorry. There's all the evidence. Miller's bank account withdraws the, the gun. You can check it against the slugs that killed Larson. And I was about to put Jimmy Perrier away for this, and you said nothing. Well, this is no laughing matter, Annie. I mean, this goes way beyond impropriety. I mean, we are talking criminal charges here, starting with obstruction of justice. Well, let's just hope that they don't slap you with an accessory to murder charge. You know what I have to do, Annie? Because of your father, I will make the process as easy as I can make it, but there is only so much I can do. And get the hell out of my office. I appreciate you calling me over to tell me this, Annie. At least now we know who the mystery blonde is, right? You'll be fine. No, I'm not fine. I just lost everything that I ever worked for. Not only now am I disbarred, but I also get slapped with criminal charges. I mean, do you know what that means for Crystal? I'll get you out of this mess. Everyone's behind you. I know George was hard on you today, but you know he's on your side. And who better to have on your side than the district attorney himself? Is Crystal already in bed? No, um, she's over at my dad's. I didn't feel comfortable her staying here ever since my place got trashed. About Judge Miller. I spoke to George today, and it looks like he's getting off due to lack of evidence. What? Are you kidding me? Lack of evidence? What about the, the bank statements or the gun? I mean, I can't believe they're not pressing charges. Gun didn't match. 
It didn't? All he made every few months, he said he was buying a lot of expensive artwork. There was really no definitive proof linking him to the blackmail or the murder. You know, I wish we could have figured out what those initials meant. Then we could have linked Judge Miller to Larson to the blackmail, and then he wouldn't have been able to wiggle his way out of that one. Yeah, but we couldn't. You know, I guarantee that there are answers in that house. Yeah? Yeah. Well, they're releasing the house back to Larson's sister tomorrow, and you, legally, can't work the case anymore anyway, so. Hey, I know. <sighs> hey, Annie, I really hate to ask, but do you mind taking care of Hector for the night? Oh. Have a date, and you know what a baby he is about staying home alone. No, of course. Come on, Hector. <laughs> Thanks, I really owe you. No, you don't. Who's the date? Uh, MYOB. MYOB. Mind your own business. Remember what I said? It's all about the acronyms. <laughs> Jeez, Annie. So is you sure it's not a problem? Because I might not be home till late. No, go. I have fun. All right. Bye, Hector. Say bye. bye. I love you. Let's go. Come with me. Oh, here we go. Oh. Yes, you are. Who is that? It's Hector. Hi, buddy. I know it. I know. Have a date. You know Who's the date? M Y O B. Mind your own business. What? TTY? TTYO? Talk to you later. It's all about the acronyms, Amy. Come on, get with the ages. You okay? Annie. Hello? Oh my gosh. I think I figured out what the initials could be. What? I, I have to go to Larson's. Whoa, no! No way! You can't go back to that house. I, well, I have to. I understand if you don't want to go with me, but I have to get in that house. Come on, Hector, let's go. Seriously? Him too. Yeah, well, he's gonna eat my shoes. Let's So what exactly are you looking for? Larson's books. I thought you already checked all those code books. I did, but I didn't really pay much attention to the titles. <laughs> Dang, I could have sworn. Find something? Yeah, here it is. We got him. Yeah, Judge Miller won't be able to weasel his way out of that one. How'd you know? I didn't. Not until Danielle mentioned the acronyms thing, the MYOB thing or whatever it is, and then it just all clicked that Larson had to have hid evidence in the house in case the authorities came. What better place to hide things than a book? It's hidden in plain sight. You don't know where it is unless you know where to look. So the letters TOC they aren't necessarily a person's initials. They could be an acronym for anything, like... The book title, Tropic of Cancer by Henry Miller. Wow. Looks like you just found the last piece of evidence oh. they need to put the good judge away. Good work, Sagan. Thanks, Mark. But where are you going? We still have two more titles. Let's see. Uh, so, so. Oh, here it is. Salem's Lot by Stephen King. <laughs> All right, so that means that King would be the name of the guy Larson was blackmailing, right? Yeah. You know, there used to be a very distinguished judge named Trevor King. You think it could be him? Maybe. <sighs> wow. Judge King. Never would have thought. Okay, so what's the other one? I'm um, SM. Here it is. Silas Marner by George Eliot. Can your tech guys find the information or something? Yeah, sure, but for now, let's just get out of here. Okay, yeah. Hopefully, we finally figured it out. Oh, I think we'll be able to prove it. 
wonder who that third man or, or woman is. Well, the last name of the person being blackmailed would have to be Elliot, right? Like in George Elliot? Right. All right. Well, I don't know any judges by that name. Do you? Well, it doesn't need to be a judge necessarily. Just someone who can fix a case. A judge, cop, DA, mm. anybody. Oh, okay. Well, probably right. Wait, wasn't there a lawyer named Elliot? Yeah, I, I got... Uh, no, I think Elliot was his first name. Oh, are you sure? Not really. Everything okay? Yeah, I just, uh, <laughs> I think I may have left my cell phone at your place, so can we maybe swing by for it? Yeah, of course. <laughs> I think my allergies are starting to kick up. You have allergies? Yeah, sometimes. I don't have my pills on me. Can we just drop them at home? Come on, Hector. Come on. Gotta go in here. Okay, come here. Come here. Good boy. All right, go in. Good job. While you find your phone, I am going to check the directory and try to figure out who George Elliot is. I won't be able to sleep if I don't figure it out. <sighs> Wait. In woman. And George Elliot was a pen name, I'm, I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah, it, we learned it in school. What was it? Um... Hmm. I hate to ask, but could you please do something about this girl? Oh, yeah, sorry. Come on, Hector. Let's go. That's your room. Let's go. Go in. Go in. Good boy. Um, where was I? Pen name, pen name, pen name. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, pen name, pen name. You know what? I bet it's in the breakfast assignments. Garner, let's see. Oh, yeah, here it is. Okay. So George Elliott is the nod de plume for Mary and Evans. Funny. Only Evans I know is. was willing to pay my price. Well, that case got thrown out on a technicality. Yeah, but after that, he thought he owned me. He had a tape of me accepting the bribe. I just had to find it and get rid of it. And him. That's what you were looking for that night that you killed him and you ransacked his house, the, the tape. Yeah. <sighs> what can I say? I don't like to be owned by anyone. And now, thanks to you, I found the evidence. No. No more evidence. You're psycho. Can't believe I didn't see it before. I guess you were too busy trying to cover your own ass. Screw you. If only there were time. So you knew all the mystery one the time? Yeah. <laughs> it was really funny. I freaked out. You got when I took you back to that jazz club. Wouldn't recognize you. You should have seen your face. Thing was, I had been following Larson all night after that charity event, and I saw you go into his house. And I saw you leave. And then I went in and killed him. I set it up to look like Perrier did it. Do you trash my place to make it look like Quentin did it? Not Judge Miller? Yep, guilty again. Thing was, we were getting way too close for comfort. 
whole blackmail investigation. So I thought I'll just throw a wrench in those tracks and just derail that train completely. The problem was they found Cruz's body way too soon. His body? You killed Cruz too? Yeah, I had to. After I saw the photos he took of you and Larson on the night of the murder, I got worried he might have photos of me too, but don't worry, he didn't. I made sure to search his place really well before I killed him. So what are you planning on doing with me? I think suicide would make more sense. Would you please stop that dog from howling? You know what? Maybe I should. Stop. Okay, look, I'll just, can I just take him to Danielle's, please? Are you serious? Yes. If you, it'll blow your cover if you, if you kill him and, and. dead. Larson got killed. 
Well, the charges got dropped, so that's something. Shouldn't you be happy? I am. Just... I mean, that job was everything I ever dreamed of, you know? With everything I witnessed, it's... It's not what I signed up for. It's not the reason I went to law school. It's definitely not the example I want to set for my daughter. I'll tell you something. There's no better example you could have set for a little girl. Yeah, she's my little girl, too. <laughs> but you're the greatest mom she could ever have had. I know your dad's proud of you. Thanks. <laughs>